Hey there, gang. So we did the trading today. And of course, this is a, a recap of today's trades. But I honestly, you know, there was a little bit of debating on whether I wanted to make this video or not. And that's just because today was actually losing day for me here. Um, but in all honesty and transparency, I mean, I'm not trying to you know, I'm not trying to impress upon any anyone or anything by making these YouTube videos. Literally, the goal is to learn how to day trade because I started day trading myself just a few months ago and it takes a long time. I, I don't know if you've heard, but day trading is challenging. The most challenging area is probably the psychological area, having a will to, you know, remain solvent when the whole market, everything is just so irrational. I wanted to share this today because uh, it's about 6 p.m. tonight and I spent the, the, the um, you know, I spent the evening racking my brain and thinking, what did I do wrong? What can I improve upon in my trade? Were there signs here that maybe I missed or that I even ignored? I've got to really re-educate myself here uh, to think a little bit more strategically about how I do these day trades because, you know, we've done two trading sessions so far and in my opinion, I've felt a little reckless, uh, more than a little reckless, right? Uh, I'm just buying and, and selling and not really following any sort of rhyme or rhythm there, just doing the trades. So let's get to the stock that we were trading today. And of course, in the news, we heard about Lyft. This is a daily chart. We're looking at late lift over the past year, right? So hit peak in really, uh, you know, March of 2021, which lines up. I mean, hey, the whole market started selling off around March, but it's really gone from 68 bucks to 16, or at least it was 16 last night. And all of this charting stuff we're going to get to, it was 16 tonight, last night. But there was a huge sell-off. We covered this in our daily uh, live stream that we did this morning. On weekdays, we're live streaming. So we covered that, okay? There was this huge sell-off. Brought us all the way down to about $10. About $11. And here's where I want to zoom in. And I did some charting here. Some analysis of, man, what did I do wrong in my, you know, in all the positions that I took here? So let's zoom in. And I made markers for us here, okay? So immediately is the market, and this is 6.30, this is about 7 a.m. So in this half an hour, we really aggressively continued to sell off from highs of $11.40 uh, all the way down to here, we are at $10.45. So I was watching this a whole morning, you know, drinking my coffee and thinking, um, I was going to drink coffee right now, but I, I don't have one out. <laughs> Probably good because it's 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 late at night. I've, uh, you know, it's uh, evening. But anyway, I watched it sell off, okay? And here's where I saw it fighting this. I mean, it, what this is like straight down. But here I saw it, you know, moving a little bit. And we're seeing even, there are no even, there aren't even high candlesticks, right? So we saw it here. And... Quick segue, let me actually explain what a candlestick is, right? What do these things mean? So each segment that I'm moving right here is a minute, right? Minute time frame. So the candle, the wick, this little skinny part, the top of the wick, uh, this represents the pricing, that movement that it had in that minute. So the top of the wick represents the top price that it had in that minute's time. The bottom wick inversely represents the lowest price that it had in that middle time. So this had this um this bottom of the body of the candle is where we entered. You see here it matches up. It's where we entered the minute. And then this top this top to the candle body is where we exited the minute. So we kind of get to see all right, it went high and then it came crashing back down within that minute's time. So in what I'm talking about here, there's literally no wick up. So I was like, oh yeah, we're selling off here. There's no consternation in the market at all. Is that the word I should be using? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> 
But the reason I talk about all that candle wicking and the candles and stuff like that is because it actually really does matter if we're doing these little short-term trades. So here's where I messed up. At 6.55 a.m. I bought at $10.65. And we candlestick, we, we went up, okay? We came a little bit down and I'm noting all this, like I'm seeing all these micro, micro movements. So I'm very, you know, aware of what's going on here in this stock because I want it to be, you know, a 10 minute trade at most. So, and then I feel like I get confirmation. So I buy again. A minute later, I buy at 1070. This line right here, I bought again. And wait, hey, we wicked up again. So I'm like, my oh my, we're getting confirmation. As I get confirmation that, that that's moving up, I'm going to buy and buy and buy because there's more, there's more, um, what's the word? There's more determination and confidence that this thing is going to continue going up. Well, that third buy was really my mistake. That buy should have been a sell, uh, but you know, there weren't, okay, hindsight is, uh, it's in the past. It's in the past. And this is why we're making this video. Should have sold here, but I bought more. I kept buying. All right, it went up. It wicked all the way up here and then it crashed down. So in this minute, I'm like, it wicked all the way up. And I wasn't thinking about the wicks at this time. I uh, I really even wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking about, oh, movement a little bit. I was being a little basic. So we went all the way up and then we came back down. We moved on the minute. We wicked up. We came back down. We wicked up. We came back down. We sold off all the way but down to here. We came back up. You see this movement? We wicked all the way down. We came back up. We wicked all the way up. We came back down. So there is a lot of hesitation. Whereas in this movement, this sell off, there's no hesitation up at the top of the wick. We're moving down constantly. But this movement right here is so jagged and so extreme. It's like, I mean, it's really not extreme. It's literally, you know, it's like movements between pennies here, but we're kind of exaggerating it. It looks extreme when you look this closely at it. The problem that we had is this big red candle. It just destroyed us. I was like holding strong here. And then this red candle, it just went like crazy. And essentially I hadn't set a stop loss or anything. So I was really flying in the wind at this moment. I'm like, okay, I got to reevaluate this. What are we going to be doing? And I'm just like, I, I'm like, no, no, no. We've been, you know, we've been selling off so aggressively. It's got to come back up, which was my second mistake. First mistake, not reading the candles. Second mistake, thinking that the thing has to go up. Of course, it doesn't have to. Okay, it's the stock market. It doesn't care what I want it to do. But, you know, my lucky day. It turned the path and I'm really, you know, going through this really clearly. It turned the path. It kept going. I'm actually above at this point my cost basis. Remember, my cost basis is about $10.70, right? These three lines is where I bought. So we actually went up and we were above again. And here's where I should have sold again, right? I didn't notice this candle wick. This is very important sign to look at is the wicks, okay? Because if it goes up really high and then comes crashing back down to end the minute, it shows that there's um, that there's a little bit of hesitation in in the movement. Okay, so I didn't sell here, I didn't sell here, I didn't sell, I didn't sell at all. And at this point, I'm like, okay, okay, I I hit my cost basis again. I'm gonna set a stop loss for one percent because I'm not losing any more on this trade. It rejected me twice. I'm not losing any more. So that's what this big line is. That's what this big line is, is where I sold position. So I basically sold it at 1%. That's pretty much it for the charts. But long story short, read the candles, okay? The candles uh, actually, you know, are pretty important in those micro movements. And I'm glad that we went through and explained what those candles are and what they do. And this will, this is good practice, right? I don't consider anything a waste of time or failure. I just consider them lessons, okay? And in this case, it was a pretty expensive lesson, but I capped the loss at 1%. So that is one thing that I did well that I noted down here. I did do one thing well, and that is I set a stop loss. Earlier in the video, I said to you, um, I didn't set a stop loss, which was a terrible mistake. And at this point, when it went, when it started 
candle wicking going crazy here, doing having a little bit of resistance, I said, no, 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 buddy. I'm not doing that again. I'm going to set a stop loss this time because I've had trades just like, you know, bottom out where I'm down 5, 10%. Okay. I don't want that to happen. So length, hopefully I stopped it out at 1%. And let's just look at it again. We were right to stop out because it never reached this position again today. I mean, it, 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 it really went down. Gladly, we only stopped out at 1%. So let's just like chart it again here. If we were to hold it the whole time, this thing, you know, this thing would have been down 3% for us on the day, which is pretty wild, you know. So glad that we stopped out. I wanted to share this recap of a particular trade breakdown of what we did this morning. Uh, if you like the charting here, if you like the analysis, if you liked seeing actually the points of where I bought, 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 and where I sold, and you saw the, the candle wicking pattern, you like that explanation, please give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because we are posting live every single weekday near market open so that we can trade live and hit our goals. Yeah, okay, so that's it for this one today. I'll see you back on Monday for another trading session. See you.